Hey everyone, uh, welcome to this video. So what I want to do is I want to start off, before we start talking about the big scary words that are in the title of this video, like relational operators and logical operators, what I want to do is I want to just talk about statements that are true and false. So let's say we have x equals 5, y equals 17, and z equals negative 8. We can take a look at some of these statements right here. So we can say, well, is it true that x is less than or equal to y? And since 5 is less than 17, we can say that this whole statement is true. We can also say that is x less than or equal to x? Is it true that x is less than or equal to x? Since x happens to equal x, we can say that this whole statement is true. We can do uh, other statements right here. So x being less than x, this is a false statement since x equals x. Z being equal to x is also a false statement since negative 8 is not equal to 5. But Z is not equal to x is a true statement since uh, negative 8 is not equal to 5. And then we have the greater than or equal to and the greater than statements right here. So these are all right here true and false statements that we can work with uh, that involve numbers like this. Uh, and we can also do true or false statements that involve uh, our variables with actual constants right here, like x equals 5. This is true. x is not equal to 6. Also true. So we're going to be doing a lot of work with statements that are either true or that are either false. And it's important to notice that statements will only either be true or false. We can't have a statement that is both true or false. And we can't have a statement that is neither true nor false. If we if we do have things that are neither true nor false, like a command or a question or things like that, we're not going to worry about that. We're just working with things that are objectively true or objectively false. And we can actually work with things like uh, true and false values as well. So we can say like, hey, uh, if P is equal to the truth value of X is less than or equal to Y, this means that P is equal to true. If Q is equal to the truth value of Z is less than or equal to X, then Q is equal to false. And if R is equal to the truth value of X is less than X, then R is false. And we can use equality and inequality to compare P and Q. So P equals Q. Is it true that P equals Q? Well, P is true and Q is false, so they're not the same. P is not equal to the true of uh, that. Sorry, P is not equal to Q. True is not equal to false. So this whole thing is false. However, false equals false, they're the same thing, so this is true. Similarly, we can have uh, P is not equal to Q is a true statement, like so. And Q is not equal to R, that is a false statement. So it's going to be important for us to keep in mind this idea of statements that are true and statements that are false especially if they are based off of, you know, their values compared to the uh, different values compared to other values. So, for example, we're comparing X and Y's value here in a way that makes it true. But here we are comparing uh, Z and X's values in a way that makes them false. So this all of these are going to provide a really good basis for what we call the relational operators. All right. So I already discussed what a relational operator is, but I wanted to provide a cleaner definition. So our relational operators, all those do is they take two values and they return true or false depending on how those values are related to each other. By values, you can consider that as just being numbers or characters, uh, individual characters such as the letter A or the exclamation mark, things like that. Not an entire string, but rather the, uh, the one letter strings that you see whenever you create a, uh, a character array or a string. So. Numbers and characters are what we consider values. Now, I know I just talked about us being able to compare true and false values in here, which uh, might make some people think, OK, well, why don't values include true or false? And the reason why is because in MATLAB, we actually consider 1 to be true and 0 to be false. So I'll show this off in MATLAB a little bit uh, in a sec. But when we say that x is not uh, less than or equal to y, if we were to say this in MATLAB, this would output 1, whereas saying z equals x in MATLAB, this would output 0. So 1 means true and 0 means false in MATLAB. So in MATLAB, um, the relational operators don't look exactly like how you're used to seeing them when you're doing 
normal math, like in algebra and stuff like that. For example, um, if you can tell me where your lesson rate equal to sign is is on your keyboard, I'll be thoroughly impressed that you even have one, I'll be honest. Um, another thing that really complicates this is that, you know, we also don't have greater than or equal to, we also don't have not equal to, and if you think about it, we're using the equal sign for variable assignment. So what people figured out when they're making coding languages, and this actually dates back much earlier than MATLAB itself, but what people figured out is that we need different ways of typing all of these symbols. And they said they set out to find ways that we could type out these symbols so that uh, we can use them on in MATLAB, basically. So less than or equal to, you can think of it, or you can write it in MATLAB using the less than sign and the equal to sign, just like that. It's less than or equal to. You just read it right to left and it says that. Note that you can't use equal to or less than. You want to use less than or equal to. Now less than is pretty much the same in MATLAB because you have that less than sign. Uh, for those with uh, US American keyboards, it should be the one over the comma is the less than, and the one over the period is the greater than. Now equals, like I mentioned before, we use the equal sign to say something like x equals 35 or something. So if, we are, if we're using equals, if we were to just reuse this symbol in MATLAB, MATLAB being kind of dumb, uh, would think that we're trying to assign a variable when we're actually not trying to do that at all. We're just trying to see if they are equal to each other. So the people who created MATLAB realized that we can do equals equals as a way to talk about if they are logically, or sorry, if they are equivalent values. So x equals equals y would check if x and y are, have the same value, whereas x equals y would set x's value to whatever y's value is. Uh, this one is really important to remember. I, I know it trips up a lot of people, so keep this in mind. Whenever you're trying to compare x and y, you have to use two equals. Not equal to <clears throat> is just, you can use a squiggly and an equals. This uh, The squiggly, or the tilde, is actually on a US American keyboard. It's the uh, key to the left of the number one. It should be directly below your escape key and directly above your tab key on a US American board. Greater than or equal to is actually very similar to less than or equal to. You just put the greater than sign and equals, and greater than you just do the greater than sign. So these are how all the relational operators work in MATLAB. Okay, so what I have here is I have MATLAB code for all of the uh, example problems that I wrote out on the first uh, on the first page of notes. So if you want to take a video, uh, if you want to pause the video and take a look at those example problems that I put up originally versus how MATLAB does it. Basically over here we have on the sort of, I guess the right hand side, after all of these strings, we have the actual code that, can, that calculates those uh, relational operations. And if we take a look at the output of this, we can see that all, we can see the results of all of those calculations. So if you look back to what we should expect from the output of those results, you should see that with one being true and zero being false, this is everything that we expect. Now notice here that I have P equals equals Q and Q equals equals R. And remember that P and Q, uh, P, Q, and R are actually logical, uh, they're, they're basically true or false statements. They're the results of logical operations. If you see up on line five here, I define them being equal to the output of some of these, uh, sorry, not logical operations, relational operations. So if we take a look at what P is, you'll see that MATLAB uh, tags it with this logical tag right here. So it's saying that it's a logical one, not a uh, numerical one. The logical one just means that it's true. And if we do something similar here, Q and R, you'll see that they're both tagged with uh, logical and zero saying that P is true and Q and R are false. So we're able to use, we're actually able to use relational operators here. So if you want to look at what, uh, well, 
what I have up here, you know, P equals equals Q. We're able to take a look at that. Uh, this is zero because true is not equal to false. Q equals equals R is true because false is the same thing as false. However, since P is one and Q is zero, let's see what happens if we say that P is greater than Q. And you'll get a true right here, which doesn't really make sense. And the reason why is sort of, it sort of means that, you know, the greater than, greater than or equal to, less than and less than and equal to operations sort of fall apart when we talk about it in terms of uh, P and Q being um, true or false, rather than if P and Q were just the numbers one and zero. So MATLAB does actually have a way of differentiating that P and Q are actually true and false rather than just the numbers one and zero. So keep that in mind, even though they look the same, uh, true and false are not the same thing as act just straight up the numbers one and zero. What's well, something that we can also do that I didn't talk about in the example right here is that we can take a look at what happens if we do P is not equal to Q, and this gives us true. So you, for, uh, for true and false, or for the logical one and zero, you're able to use equal to and not equal to, but you're not able to use any of the other logic, or, sorry, relational operators that we have right here. However, there are the logical operators, which I will define in just a second, that we can use in order to combine true and false statements in order to make more, much larger and more powerful statements. So when I define relational operators, you uh, you notice you might have noticed that I define specifically numbers and characters as being the values that relation relational operators compare. But you might be wondering what happens if we have two matrices if we try to compare two matrices. So let's see what happens if we try to say uh, if we look at the statement a equals b, where a is the horizontal vector one two three four five, b is the horizontal vector. 1, negative 2, negative 3, 4, negative 5. So A equals equals B, or A is uh, logically equivalent to uh, B, we can see that this actually makes what's called a logical array. It's the same size as A and B, and what it does is it does an element by element comparison of A's elements with B's elements. So it checks each individual position in the array to see if those elements are equal. So it's, it checks here, it says, okay, 1 is equal to 1, 2 is not equal to negative 2, 3 is not equal to negative 3, 4 is equal to 4, and 5 is not equal to negative 5, giving us 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. If we, you know, we can do something similar with uh, A is not equal to B, that gives us uh, actually what we could say is the complement of A is e equal equal B. That. A is not equal to B gives us what we could say is the complement to A is equal to B, like this. Uh, we can also check um, A is greater than B, which gives us actually the same thing as A is uh, not equal to B. This is just by chance. If we check A is less than B, this gives us all false because if you recall, uh, all of A's elements are either equal to B or less than B. Uh, A is greater than or equal to B actually gives us all true. So again, you can see here that we, we sort of have a, a complementary relationship here that uh, where an A is less than B and A is greater than or equal to B, all of these are sort of fall. All the ones in, uh, where I guess where all the values in A is less than, to, less than B are false, all of these are true. And that's something that is, uh, that's something that's good to keep in mind. So we'll talk about sort of this idea of uh, complements, uh, logical complements in just a second. But if we're doing relational operators over, um, if we're doing relational operators over, over matrices, this is how it works. Let's say what happens if we compare uh, A is equal to A transpose. So we have, um, oh, sorry, I should say A equals equals A transpose. So this will give us the horizontal array, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, versus the vertical array, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this actually is really interesting because this gives us a 5 by 5 logical array, like so. So what's nice about this is that MATLAB actually gives us tools to handle talking about when horizontal arrays are equal to vertical arrays like this. 
um, basically in the fact that it converts that answer to a five uh, to a uh, five by five array with um, all of the truth values along the diagonal of that array. So in this case, it happens to look like a uh, I matrix. Let's see what happens if we do A equals equals B transpose. And right here we have, if we look along this diagonal again, this main diagonal, we can see the result of if A's first element equal equal B's first element, A's second element equal equal B's second element, and so on with all of these. So that's a that's a relational operators. Uh, next, we'll talk about logical operators. All right. So in the next part of this video, we're going to take a look at logical operators, which take in two true or false values, and they output a true or false value depending on the actual operator. So what I have right here, I have the same values of x, y, and z that I uh, that I used in the example at the beginning of this video, and I have three statements right here. They both have true or false statements connected with an AND first off. So we can take a look and say x is less than y and z is less than x. Is it true that x is less than y and z is less than x? Well, what we have right here is we have a true statement because 5 is less than 17. And we have a, a true statement as well because negative 8 is less than 5. So a true statement and a true statement, we're asking basically, are these statements both true? Is, uh, is it true to say that both of these statements are true? And since this is true and this is true, we can say that this whole thing is a true statement. This one here, again, we're saying, is it true that x is less than y and that x equals z? Now this part is true, we already discussed why, but five is not equal to negative eight, so this part is false. So therefore, it is not true that x is less than y and x equals z. So we would say that this entire statement is false. And right here, we can ask, is it true that z equals x and z equals y? This happens to be false, and this happens to be false. So neither of them are true. So the, none of them, yeah, neither of them are true. Both of them are false. So it is not true that z equals x and that z equals y. So we would say that this is false. So what we're doing right here is when we use and to connect two statements, let's say if we have, uh, we'll let p and q be true, false. So they'll either be true or false. And we say that p and q is b and q is basically true if p and q are both true and it's false if at least one of p and q are false so we have this operator right here, we have our AND operator that basically takes in two true or false statements and returns true if they both are true and false if at least one of those is false. In MATLAB, if we're trying to say that something AND something, what we would use is we would use the ampersand character. On a US American keyboard, the ampersand is above the 7, so you type SHIFT and 7 to get this ampersand right here. So X less than y and z less than x is going to be equivalent to true and true, which is true. Or I guess if we're using MATLAB notation, rather what I should be saying is that this is one and one is one. Whereas uh, x less than y and x equals z is going to end up being one and zero, which is zero, like so. All right, so for our next logical operator, we can take a look at, is it, uh, we can take a look at these statements right here. So we can say, is it true that Z is greater than X or X is greater than Z? We have that this is a false statement since negative eight is less than five. And this is a false statement because uh, five is less than 17. So if we're asking whether it's true that this is true or this is true, 
you know, if we're asking that, whether it's true that at least one of these statements is true, this statement, this whole thing right here is going to be false because neither of these are true. So in this, uh, this next logical operator basically is asking, is it true that at least one of these statements is true? So right here we have actually uh, x equals y, which is a false statement since 5 is not equal to 17. Or y is greater than x, which is actually true since 17 is greater than 5. So we have, is it true that this is true or this is true? Well, since the second one is true, this whole thing ends up being true. For this last, uh, for this last statement right here, is it true that x is not equal to y or y is greater than x? Now this one is actually true, and this one is actually true. So this one, a lot of people might say that this statement is actually false because these are both true. And that comes down to the fact that English happens to be a, a very, it happens to be a language that uses an exclusive or. So for example, if someone were to say, do you want to eat Thai food or pizza for dinner tonight? Usually we are expected to answer one of, to answer with one of those saying, oh, I would rather eat pizza or I would rather eat Thai food, something like that. However, and when we're talking about logical operations, whether it's in computer science or whether it's in other areas of life that use logic, when we talk about or, we, we specifically want to say that, hey, is this statement, is at least one of these two statements true? So in this case, since this is true and this is true, we can say that this whole statement is true because at least one of these little sub statements is true. So the or operator, if we have P or Q, it's true if at least one of P or Q is true and false if uh, P and Q, Q are both false. So I can't emphasize this enough that P or Q is true if at least one of them is true, meaning that it is true if both P and Q are true. Um, this is a very inclusive or, it's not an exclusive or. If we're trying to look at how MATLAB does this, we use a vertical bar to specify uh, to, to uh, specify the logical OR in MATLAB. So this is the one that is above the enter key. It's the one where you have to press shift and the backslash button in order to use it. So we can say something like uh, x equals y or y is greater than x. This would be 0 or 1 which is one. So that's the MATLAB or operator. And finally, we have one more example that I want to bring out here, which is talking about not. So let's see here. If we're saying not Z is greater than X, what we're saying is, is it true that, or sorry, is it not true that Z is greater than X or is Z greater than X false? which is what we're doing. This is what we're doing when we're talking about the not operator. So Z being greater than X is a false statement. So this whole thing is saying, is it true that Z is greater than X is not true? And it is true that Z is greater than X is false. So this whole statement is true. So for t if we uh, try to use not on a false statement, we end up getting a true statement. Similarly, if we try to use not on a true statement like this, where uh, x is not equal to y is true, we're asking, is x not equal to y a false statement? And since x is not equal to y is a true statement, then the whole statement here is false, like so. Oh, this should be false with an e. So the not operator, not p gives us true, if P is false and false if P is true. And what 
if we want to uh, talk about this in terms of MATLAB, we would actually use the same squiggly sign that we use in not equal to. So we would use the uh, the same tilde. So tilde z greater than x like this would be the same thing as saying tilde 0, which is 1. Similarly, tilde x uh, not equal to y like that would be um, tilde 1, which is 0, like so. Now, the fact that we use tilde here and we use tilde in not equal to, this isn't actually a, co a coincidence at all. Because if you think about it, uh, not x not equal to y, right, is going to be, well, like we said down here, this is tilde 1, which is 0 which is the same thing as saying x equals equal, uh, equals equals y. And I, I realize I wrote this out wrong. This should be x tilde equals y. But if we're taking the negation of x is not equal to y, we get x equals y. So we're sort of using this um, tilde here in a similar sense to saying not an equal. So maybe to make this a little more clear, I can also show what happens if we do not x equals equals y, like so. This would be uh, not 0, which is 1, which is the same thing as saying x is tilde equal to y, or x is not equal to y. So the use of tilde in both of these is very intentional, like so. And what I've done right here is using uh, the vertical bar, using that ampersand, using the tilde is exactly the same thing in MATLAB as it is in the way that I've written it out. I'll show a, qu a few quick examples of them in MATLAB code, and then that will be the end of the video. All right, so back in MATLAB, here is the, uh, here's the usage of the first logical operator we talked about, of the AND operator. So again, uh, x, y, and z are what we had before. So x equals equals y, and y is greater than x is going to be false because remember that x equals equals y is false and y is greater than x is true, like so. Whereas if we do something like x is not equal to y and y is greater than x, this whole thing is true. Now if we do something like a x equals equals y or y is greater than x, uh, we have false or true, which is true. If we do something then like uh, y is less than x, this whole thing is going to be false because x equals equals y is false and y is less than x is false. And then finally, if we do something like not x equals y, or sorry, equals equals y, this would give us true because x equals equals y is false. And recall that x is not equal to y will also give us true. So that, that's uh, sort of that connection between not and not equal to that I tried to explain um, just a little bit ago. So those are our that's our discussion on true and false values, on relational operators, and on logical operators. Now, all of this is going to be really important as we continue on. We'll actually be using relational and, operation, and uh, logical operations a lot in the rest of the videos here. So Make sure you have an understanding of this. Uh, now would be a good time to stop and uh, ask any questions that you have on our discussion boards, something stuff like that. And once you feel comfortable about all of these ideas, then I will see you all in the next videos.